Hey guys, good evening. It's Callie. Tonight I'm going to share with you how I created my October Mission Inspiration page. I really had a blast creating this page. It was a lot of fun. And if this looks like something you're interested in seeing how I did, I'd love it if you stick around and check it out. Okay, so let's get started. You can see I've already put my masking tape down the center and I have some old wax paper I'm using just to protect either side. So our first prompt is to add black gesso with a baby wipe. Well, I'm batting a thousand here because I don't have any black gesso and I don't have any baby wipes. So we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna use some of my Americana multi-surface satin and black tie and I'm going to use a damp rag. I use these for painting and cleanup, etc. Put a little in my palette dish and we're just going to apply it with the rag. This is a pretty straightforward prompt. As per usual, I haven't given any thought of what I would like this page to look like what my focal image is going to be, anything like that. I like to go in totally blind and just let the page develop. So let's see where it takes us this month. Okay, a little tiny bit left. Might as well use it. Okay. Let this dry and we'll be back with step two. All right, this is nice and dry now. And our next prompt is to add torn magazine advert fragments. I don't have magazines in the house usually, um, but I did find this kind of a local cultural magazine type of thing. So I've already pulled out some of the ads that I saw in the back and I'm just going to rip them up and we'll Put down some pieces. I have uh, an Elmer's glue stick. And normally I use decoupage for everything, but this time I'm just going to use the Elmer's and kind of randomly put down some pieces. I'm sure at some point in the page I'll be using decoupage. Um, I'm not going to think about this too much. We'll just lay these down. In no particular order. I saw uh, Mike Deacon's challenge this month and he used like Halloween label kind of things and I was tempted to do that too but I didn't want to take anybody else's idea and I haven't seen anyone else's page this month yet. But I liked his idea. I have a lot here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around, I'll finish doing this, and then I'll see you back here and we'll do step three. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Nothing too spectacular. Our next prompt is to add texture paste through two different stencils. I have some homemade texture paste here, and I just pulled out I just, I honestly didn't know what I wanted to use. This is a Delusion stencil, and this is an Andy Skinner kind of a skin, uh, snake skin. So I'm just going to randomly um, use these. Still have no idea how our page is going to turn out. Um, I've mixed this up really good, and I'll take a palette knife and a credit card. Just kind of randomly glop some down. 
I'm not even going to really give it too much thought. And when these circles are dry, I'll go back in and we'll do the snake skin. So just add good texture for whatever paint we're going to be putting on. Okay, so that looks cool. All right, I'm going to let that dry and come back and we'll do the snake skin. Okay, this is nice and dry now. And we're going to go in with this snake skin. And I thought just to do something a little different that I would tint the texture paste. So actually, this isn't the color I was going for. This looks kind of grayish. But I just took some of this um, DecoArt Elegant Finish Metallic Paint. And this one's in Rich Espresso. I was going for this brown metallic look, but the white washed it out. But we're going to be painting on top of it anyway, and I just thought it would be cool to have something a little bit different. So I'm just going to go right in, just like we did the last time, and kind of randomly spread this. Um, let's see what we get. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this color, but all right. Maybe I'll love it in the end. Do you love when that happens? I'm not going to put too much. Just enough so you can really see that pattern. Yeah, spread that a little thick. And all righty. Let this dry and we'll be back with prompt number four. Yeah, I think this one came out the clearest, but it'll look cool when we get paint and stuff on top of it. See when this is dry. Okay, so our next prompt is to add paint or spritz with two different colors. And I decided to go back to the stencil that we used for the white texture paste. And I'm just, for those of you who know me, know I love my purple. I'm going to go in with this DecoArt Media Mister uh, Spritz in purple and just go through the stencil. These are kind of drippy. Okay, interesting. Um, we'll let this dry and I'll come back in with the second color. Okay, so the purple's nice and dry. I thought about using yet another stencil and I've just decided to do some more spritz on top. Um, I really don't know where we're going with this page, but I have my Delusion ink spray in Vibrant Turquoise. This is not a permanent spray, so you don't want to go in with anything wet on top of it, but I don't think we're going to, so... I'm taking a chance and I'm just going to kind of randomly add some more crazy color to this page. Oh, time to get some new spritz. I love this color. Just a little bit. Obviously, that's all I have to work with here. There we go. Anyone who knows me well knows that this is my palette, purple and blue. This is kind of a turquoise. Yeah, so, all right, we're going to go with that. I'm going to let it dry, and we'll be back with step five. 
Okay, so step five is to add marks with bubble wrap. And anyone who knows me will not be surprised at this color choice. This is folk art, fluorescent purple. I am a creature of habit. I had to hunt around for my bubble wrap. I must have thrown a lot out, but I actually finally found a piece. So I'm just going to randomly go around. I'm going to try not to have so much paint this time so we can actually uh, see some marks. So, but I think this will go good with our other colors. And of course, it's nothing that looks like any kind of bubbles, but that's all right. Oh yeah, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Again, not a real fall palette, but that's okay. I guess I wasn't making a fall picture today. What do you guys think? Are you happy with that? I hope so. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to stop before I go too far. Stop me before I go too far. What do you think? Good? Alrighty, that's going to be that. See you in the next step. Okay, so step six is to add a focal collage image. And I struggled with this a little bit, trying to decide what I wanted to do. And I decided to fall back on an old friend, tried and true. And I just took a piece of my Canson mixed media paper and a black Sharpie and drew out... Jack Skellington. So he's holding a pumpkin. I am going to do color that orange probably with another orange Sharpie and I'm going to cut him out. I originally was going to do the cobweb behind him. I decided not to. So I'm just going to cut him out with the pumpkin and use some decoupage and glue it onto the picture. So I'll see you back here when that's done. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's still drying a little bit. And I used the um, Americana Decoupage Matte Medium. And I knew I was going to run into a problem with those uh, Delusion spraying. Sure enough, the blue kind of came up and I had to go over the white with my Sharpie paint pen. So I did that. And the pumpkin, I told you, I just did with some orange Sharpies. And I outlined the whole thing with my uh, Faber-Castell pit pen uh, with a brush tip. So yeah, I think he looks cool. And we'll go on to our next step, which is to add small tri triangles of patterned paper randomly. Uh, so I have this, um, it just happens to be triangle patterned paper that I got in some Happy Mail. And I have cut those into triangle shapes. Just random, like it says, and I'm going to take some of my Aileen's Tacky Glue and randomly put some of these down. And I was going to use the decoupage, but again, I didn't want to deal with the uh, Delusions ink coming up. So I literally am not even thinking about where these are going. I think I have like uh, 15 or so. Something like that. And I'm just going to put them down. I'm liking how this page is coming out. It's always so much fun to watch, watch it kind of unfold, you know? Just like it does with you guys watching. That's how it is for me, too. Because I told you, I maybe I should try to plan out my pages, but... So far, this seems to work out okay for me. I'm such an adventurer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these blend right into the background. There's so much other stuff going on here. How would you tell? But the end result, I'm sure, will be fine and fun. And we got two more. Let's see. It's funny, I'll come back and look at this as I'm editing it and be like, why didn't you put it there? That always happens. Does that happen to you guys who film too? Uh, okay, 
So that's it. We'll let those dry and come back with step eight. See you in a minute. So step eight is to add a quote or phrase like a ransom note. So I took a quote from the movie from Jack and it's just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. And that's true. And I just took some of my little alphabet stamps. I have a variety of small ones here and different color inks. And I just stamped it out on, um, I used some stays on, just generic inks really. And I originally had ripped around the words because I like the jagged edge, but it really didn't fit on the page that way. So I had to trim them down and I'm just going to go ahead and same thing, use my Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'll glue them down. And once they're down, I'll go around them and outline them again with my uh, pit pen like I like to do. And as soon as that's done, we'll be back and I think we're going to add a border. We're almost done here. So I'll see you when everything's glued down and outlined. See you in a minute. Okay, so that's all nice and glued down and outlined. It looks cute. And our next step is to add a border of our choice. And I'm going to go really simple here. I'm taking some of my Americana acrylic paint in lamp black and I'm just going to go around the outside edge all the way around with a very thin border of black. So nothing fancy, nothing too precise, just going to edge it all the way around. And that's going to be that. And then we have one more step after this. Uh, I've really, if I haven't said it enough, I've really enjoyed this page. Hope you guys have too. I urge you to go check out Mike Deacon. I always leave all the links below. And you can join in on these mission inspirations. It's almost been a year. I started in January and I really enjoyed it. Have I told you I have enjoyed it? <laughs> All right, that's it, you guys, for the border. I'm going to let this dry and we will be back with the last step. Okay? See you in a few minutes. Okay, our final step is to finish with drips or splatters. And I may regret this, but I'm going to use my DecoArt Media Mister. This one is in yellow green. And I'm going to try to protect, we'll see how this works out, uh, the face and the pumpkin and maybe Jack's suit a little bit. I'm going to try to splatter around this. And rather than spray it um, out of the mister, I'm just going to open it up and kind of just flick it. Oh, that looks good. Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed spending this time with me doing this challenge. And I urge you to go check out Mike Deacon and the Mission Inspiration Group. I will leave all links below. I'm going to carefully try to go around him without getting anything on him. We'll see. I'll put some pictures at the end. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and I'll see you for another Mission Inspiration next month. What do you think, guys? Peace and love. Talk to you soon. Take care.